Hello and welcome back to another episode of Pretty Little Liars, the Abridged series. On the last episode, A threatened us with revealing the secrets of our locket, and A had us break up with Blair, and um, hand over photos of Emily kissing Maya. So, naturally, that's going to come back to bite us in the ass. But the cliffhanger we were left on is there is a body in the De Laurentiis garden. And in episode four, all of Rosewood is reeling after a gruesome, gruesome murder. You and Aria make a plan to investigate, and an after hours visitor steams up your bedroom windows. Oh my god, is it Allison? Did they find Ellie's body? No, not Allison. Mona? What? What? Mona? Hannah, I really need to talk to you. Lydia, I need to talk to you. It's urgent. I've been getting texts, too. <gasps> oh, okay, so we didn't use gems to help out Mona, and now she's dead. I think I understand the consequences of not spending gems. Sorry, Mona. I don't really believe she's dead, but maybe she is. I'm still here, bitches. You think you know how this story goes. You don't know anything. A. When the reporters came, the cops made everyone leave. No one felt, no one felt safe being alone, so we all went back to my house. My dad just texted. He's at the station with Mona's family. I can't believe this is happening. Mona is dead. It doesn't feel real. You guys, I don't think Allie could have done this. Allie was a lot of things, but she wasn't a murderer. I just don't know anymore. Hannah, are you okay? You haven't said anything since we got here. This is all my fault. New no, Hannah, it's not. Yes, it is. Mona needed me, and I blew her off. Just like Allie would have done. Trust me, Hannah, you're nothing like Allie. A had us ruining all... Oh, A had us running all over the place tonight. You couldn't deal with Mona at the same time. I'm not talking about tonight. Something was going on with her. She'd been acting different. Anxious or scared. If something bad were going on, Mona would have found a way to tell you. Everyone assumed Mona was an open book, but you'd be surprised how much that girl could talk without saying anything. I should have known something was up when we started getting sorry. I should have known something was up when we started meeting up with Mr. L Lindell. The guidance counselor? I just figured she wanted attention. What else did Mona do? Why else did Mona do anything? But clearly there was something else going on. And I think it had to do with A. 
We have to find out what Mona told Lin Lindell. Ah, oh, God, I hate that name. He must have had a file on her. It could lead us to A. How would we find it, though? His office is like Fort Knox. Guys, I think we can get us in. I think I can get us in. But I need one of you to help me. I can't pull this off alone. Anyone free Monday night? Uh, I mean, we have a funeral to go to, but yeah, sure, whatever. I could cancel. Oh, uh, but I have swim team dinner at Coach's house. I've got the Catalan prep. I'm grounded. I'll do it, because I don't have any repercussions from sneaking out of the house whatsoever. Thanks, Lydia. Are we sure this is a good idea? If you get caught, you could get expelled. Um, we don't have any choice. This isn't a game anymore. It has to stop. <gasps> it's just my mom. She's making me come home. It's so late. We should all go. Are you okay being here alone, Lydia? Yeah, my dad will be home any soon anyway. We'll text you if you need anything. I will. Same goes for you. <laughs> what was that noise? Hello, is someone there? I have a baseball bat! My boyfriend's black and he plays football. Why is that window still have a ladder on it? Oh, Blair! I didn't mean to scare you. I was afraid your dad was downstairs. I just, I, I heard about your friend Mona and I had to come over and see if you were okay. It's so awful. I can't believe Mona's gone. I'm here for you, Lydia. Wherever, wherever, we're meant to be together. Whatever you need. That's really sweet of you. Hey, listen, about the party. No, no, I, I know. I'm sorry. You really hurt me with what you said. But you were worth fighting for, Lydia. I know things are complicated, but I don't want to lose you again. Blair, that means a lot. Hey, aren't those your sick day PJs from middle school? I forgot I was wearing these. OMG, this is so embarrassing. Let me see what else I have. Blair's here, fighting for me? Maybe I should fight for her. What should I wear to turn this night around? A lacy silk romper? Or stick with what you're wearing? I don't really want to give Blair the wrong idea. Um, so I'm just going to stick with what I'm wearing. Hmm... This works. Try to. I mean, let's just see what the romper looks like. Oh, 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 jeez. Um. No, 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 no. Also, you have to pay gems towards it, and this is not worth gems. We don't. Blair is not worth any gems. I'm really sorry for coming over so late. I'm really sorry for coming over so late. I'm really happy you came. It's messed up, isn't it? Another tragedy. 
I take it you're thinking about Lisa, too. Yeah, like I said, it was a tough year in Riverbank. And not having you around made it even worse. I wish I could have been there for you. Well, we're here for each other now. You really feel that way? I mean, that's what you want, to be here for each other? Look, I know it's complicated between us, but I have to tell you something. <sighs> I'm a man. What? No, sorry. Okay. I can't stop thinking about you. I just, it's technically, I still have a girlfriend. I know, and I guess Lisa's still technically my best friend. Oh, sucky sucky. I can't get my head around it, Lydia. Even though Lisa's not waking up, I can't help but feel guilty sometimes. But when I think about kissing you... I get it, Blair. It just doesn't feel right to you. That's the thing, though. It does feel right. And when they found Mona's body, all I could think about was that if I were to die tomorrow... I'd want to spend my last night with you. Kiss her or take it slow. Um, Lisa's supposedly my best friend and Blair is supposedly her girlfriend. We have morals, okay? We're gonna take it slow. Blair, that's incredibly sweet. Well, you're the most amazing person I've ever met. I like you, Blair. I like you a lot. As crazy as tonight has been, I don't want it to end. Yes, the pain that Mona's parents must be going through, I don't want that to ever end. Selfish! People are inherently bad. Sorry to interrupt your little slumber party, but I thought you'd want to know your dad will be home in ten seconds. Everything okay, Lydia? Blair, I have to tell you something. Lydia, are you up there? Oh my god, your dad's home. Answer me. If he sees me up here, he's gonna kill me. Alright, I'm coming up. What should we do? Pull Blair into bed and save your night together. That's the worst thing to do. Your dad's about to come into the room. What? <clears throat> How would that solve anything? No, it's too late. We're better off being honest with him. What the hell is this? Dad, what are you doing home? Never mind why I'm home. What the hell is she doing in my house? Sir, officer, please, I... Not another word. Dad, please just listen. I'm done listening. First, you fight me on Noel's party. Then you sneak Blair Burke into my house. Blair, you know you have no business being here. But... Listen to me carefully, Blair, because I'm only gonna say it once. Stay the hell away from my daughter, bitch. <laughs> Dad, language. <laughs> Please. It's okay, Lydia. I'll go. I'm sorry to disturb you, sir. We'll discuss this in the morning. I wonder who tipped off your dad about your little visitor. No, I don't wonder, because it was me. Ha 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 uh, Sorry. Hopefully now you'll understand which of us is in control. Sweet dreams. 
Like hell you can control me. You're going down, eh? My dad grounded me, but I told him I had a pre-calc study session after school. I hated lying to him, but I had to help Arya get that file. Okay, so Ezra has the keys to Lyndall's office. I can get them, but I need your help. What, you're gonna, you're gonna steal them? You sure you wanna steal? Deal from your... Wait, is he officially your boyfriend? It's complicated. But this is the only way to get Mona's file. I need you to guard the door. Okay, so... If you're sure you want to do this... I'm sure. That's really brave, Arya. Stupid, but brave. What do we make of the fact that the copulence of, oh, sorry, the opulence of Gatsby's world exists in the shadow of the brutality and carnage of the First World War? <sighs> Perhaps it shows us that no matter how much you surround yourself with beauty, death and darkness are always looming. <laughs> So that's just how I imagine Ezra sounds. Don't forget, I need eight pages on the Great Gatsby from each of you on by Friday. Good luck, Arya. Poor Arya. Putting her relationship... RELATIONSHIP with the teacher? Putting her relationship on the line to get those keys. Ezra, we need to talk. Ah, Arya and her teacher. I think it's time to expose this little affair. Yes, yes it is. I should be doing it. Lydia, go to the police. Huh. Well, on the next episode, we're going to go to the police and tell them that there is a pedophile in Rosewood High. Now, um, in episode 5, you and Arya team up for a night of espionage that ends up in a surprise reunion with Ali's most notorious enemy. Ooh, I think it's Paige, don't you? Oh, maybe it's Jenna. Is Jenna... Ali's enemy? I guess they just always made Jenna Emily. But they just, they just always made Jenna the Emma. <laughs> they t they always made Jenna the enemy. And then in the finale, it turned out she saved them all. So, go figure. So, we do have a pass. So, next time, we get to do episode five. So please like and share this video and join me next time for more Pretty Little Liars, the abridged series.